Hello everybody, how good of you to join. Welcome back to Android 100, looking at our major fleet in Africa right now. That's right, I mean, I think it's a bit too much, right? But I think we might be able to finally destroy the pirate with that. My last attack was rather unsuccessful, I've lost four ships. Um, I did not calculate that those towers here are much stronger with the military mod that I've installed. So this is adding a lot of firepower and also a lot of HP. Those are um, towers have and thus we need more firepower more ships overall um, my battleships are in the front line they take most of the hits and as we can see are now right at the pirate's course and he's hopefully already seeing it and we should see the first firing then soon once we get over this line here even though i think no actually my battleships don't and they have a bigger range but not that much so the tower will still be able to fire first, should not be the biggest problem here. And yeah, let's break the formation so that my battleships are rushing forward. And actually this ship here is rushing forward, then what is going on? My battleship should be faster, than not. Alright, and there's the first shots being fired once again on both sides. Look at that, it's barely taking any damage there, it's incredible. And my battleships take a lot of damage already. And let's fire full with, I think, around 10 battleships now, even more than that. Look at that, it's barely taking any damage. This is incredible though. He's also losing um, not that much morale, to be honest. Um, we already destroyed a few of his towers though, right, in the last um, episode. So there are a few destroyed. It would be much harder if those towers still would be up as well. But of course, we lost a, a lot of ships with that. Oh boy. I mean, of course, we're going to make this one, but it's harder than I thought. We're also firing now on the other side here because there's still also some cannons, as we can see. And oh my goodness, yes, I'm going to lose this battleship if I don't get it out now. Actually, it has the white flag on board. <laughs> How very convenient. The white flag, right? And it's not getting attacked anymore. Off it goes. Um, there is another tower going down. And yes, it's much easier. Even though, yeah, we almost lost the ship there once again. Uh, let's just see. I think, though, we should be fine now. And there it is. What? Did, did I lose a, a ship there? You may break our walls, but our hearts and our faith in the line of Selamawi, his true line, will never yield. Alright, so they still don't yield, even though I've taken their harbor area now. Of course, conquering all the factions is a much safer bet. So I think we've now finally conquered also the pirate there. Ketema the Builder. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Ketema the Builder. He's Ketema the Conqueror. And I think that's it now. We have finished this quest, even though there is no real hmm, item that we get out of it or something like that. And we still have this battle open there. Let's have a look at the make a decision. Um, nope, we still haven't done this. So we still haven't fulfilled that object though yet. Is there something here? Do we perhaps need to collect something there? All right, but we can still advance now in the options here and elaborate on why Her Majesty might make a worthwhile ally to Enbeza. And her empire, the empire is clever in the extreme and it is said the sun never sets on its sprawling dominions. And... This might be an option. And yes, I have witnessed the crown's power and how it casts great shadows. I'm certain in a matter of empire building, I could not wish for a more suitable ally. Oh, suddenly he wants to ally. And I can't remember, was it you or someone else that helped me get to the grips with mapping? Oh god. Alright, we still have, right, sorry pals, we still have one more quest here. Sail to, Sir Ar uh, sail to the place indicated by Sir Archibald. Right, so we do have um, a few... I think we have a map somewhere that gives us the locations. Um, I don't know from my last playthrough where those locations are. Alright, and here we are at the first location, so that was over here in on the on the western side of Enbeza, and there is the waterfalls 
And somewhere down here, I don't exactly remember anymore. We should be... There it is! Still perfectly decent whiskey. That he kind of like left over there, it seems. Scotch Falls. Alright, we got the first one out of the three. I remember that here there was an arc or an arch or something like that that we had to get over there. And I think here it was as well. So we might still find something. And the next one we have triggered where we are already in Hellbrunn with the big mountain there and photograph is suggested from a promo notary. So is it oh this one here. Alright, let's take a photo of this pretty cool mountain there and submit it and thus we have number two so it's only one more there's also no proof that we collect on the battleships there so yeah not missing anything out if i spread it out with a few battleships so over here we should be finding something some island that has the well kind of like motive that we need and Princess Jing declares war on us. Just like that, once again, she's doing it. I'm pretty sure that we, we can go uh, at ceasefire with her. Yes. Uh, but we're not going to do this for much longer then. Alright, so at some point we've had enough. Declaration of war once again. Uh, was it this island here? No, that, that's not an arch. It was an arch. I remember this one correctly. Should be somewhere over here. Alright, it is much harder than I thought it would be finding this last island. Um, we have still a lot of fog of war over here. It might... Oh, there it is. Look at that. Yes. Just what I wanted to say. I think it is moving around with every playthrough, right? So it was certainly somewhere over there, I'm pretty sure of. Um, but, well, there it is. We found it at long last. That was by pure luck. And I'm glad that it's still there, though. And yes. I'm pretty sure. Sail to the frigate. Oh. There we need to sail now. Where's the frigate? Is it coming to us? Spin the big wheel. It might be coming for us right now. Somewhere here he's waiting for us. A competitor's island is under siege. Oh. And someone is trying to get this island there once again, Princess Jing. She's quite the war monger. <laughs> and even Miss Hunt is at her defense. There's the frigate. Oh, and also another nice item that we got there. And yes, I'm ready. And so sail to Arching Stone. What is he doing now? Is he kind of like... Oh, he's trying to get through it. And I'm pretty sure that we need to take a photo, right? Well, indeed. I think now I have the honor of naming it Blake's Archie. And thus he vanished. This is a Stargate. He just disappeared. For is protection. Not worth the time. And there we have the last one. Click on the fallen tree. So there was still... It was actually four. All right. So there we have it. And thus we have now... That's all the major landmarks. Realize you've done the Queen a vital service. And accurate cartography is of great importance to the Empire. Thank you very much. And we now should be able to do this. Yes, I helped accurate cartographical charts are a key part of the crown's very wise strategy. A wise queen indeed is she who understands a map is worth more than two score galleons. If I may, Danny Ho, Sir Archibald, I have a proposal of my own to append to this alliance, which I believe shall strengthen it tenfold. All my life I have dreamed of bring a bridging, learning across the globe to share. I now entrust you with these plans to build residences for scholars. What? We already have scholars. All the best news and Bazer and Empire agree. Terms, Queen's Ambassador Sir Archibald Blake shows commitment to Bazen independence by dismantling imperial presence in the region and recognizing Emperor Katima and his people as equals. Oh crap. Actually, I thought we would. But not all of it is evil. Under your roof, the Emperor's dream of unity does not seem so hopeless. Yeah, she looks quite happy now. Sail to the Clipper to get the reward. We do get um, two legendary items there and... Alright, 35% increased movement speed for ships. That sounds pretty good. So let's get these things and then we finally finished the African main campaign. 
and there is our ship let's turn it in and thank you very much thus we have finished the quest line and we do get those rewards here all in base and residences max residence plus 20 percent happiness plus 10 um and bonus residence plus two on top of that and they're also already being satisfied with finery and illuminated scripts very good let's get this one to tab rim right away and yep very good we are thus finished with africa now we can of course and we will still um improve on our tab rim city here which is just looking too fine there and i would like to use those items that we just got here and let's just have a look at that we have the nope i don't need the trade union i do need the town hall a beautiful and basin town hall that we can have hmm yep to get as many in as possible there is actually a nice spot right beside the um hospital we only need to get rid of one building and we can take a lot of them into account there so let's get this one and let's just try to squeeze it in oh yes okay at least one more we need to get down there all right so not so cheap after all <laughs> but still um a good thing there we have it and just beside it well we might still have some ornaments then in between um let's just see a shelter or some bushes the bushes are the african flowers so we can have that and some trees here to have a bit of a green area there between euphoric elder she's really got everything now except the lanterns and our town hall do we have any item here already oh plus seven happiness and consume 20 percent less dried meat we can use this already and look at that how many we are uh you know reach with this one here and speaking of items while my ship is on the way i would like to go back well you name it to um the arctic quite the jump right and here we do have the flying dutchman airship let's get this one let's just unload everything that we have here oh boy we really don't have a lot of storage there i need to do something i want to get some additional items some of you have been suggesting it and i totally neglected it once again but oh there we still have a bit of space that we can use beside the uh, work pier, uh, the commute pier, right? So two more depots. Um, what I would like to do is I would like to get some items for my Arctic Plateau. We still do need a bit of um, gas, a bit more of gas, right up here. And what we also want is, well, more effective gas pumps and gas mines. Um, what we have. What is going on? Technician workforce is down a bit there. Oh yeah, pemmican food is missing. And that is also something that I've kind of like neglected a bit there. Um, there's the pemmican food whaling station, so we should have a lot of this oil there. But the caribou meat is something that's constantly lacking. Let's just see if we do get in our space here. I might also just conquer me a new island altogether. Um, up here in King William Islands, we can still yeah afford those ones here i could also use some items of course for the caribou hunting cabin we do have two of them here in skull up there they're not being boosted by any means so boosting them might be a good idea and i think the inuit have something for that right so they have quite a lot of items here that can boost especially of hunters the productivity so let's just get one of our ships here yep the great eastern over here to the um inuits and get some items and of course my airship also has arrived here at um so, uh, nate and let's just see what we need to build some of those items um there we have the explorer shelters arctic flu chance minus 40 percent all right there we have the lumberjack hut gas mine there it is a gritty gas extractor we do need 20 tons of gas oh we need caoutchouc steel and some of those scraps Interesting items there overall, but very expensive. Oh, this is something for investor residents. Bonus happiness plus three and reduced need of chocolate. Hmm, interesting. But for now, I should be going for... Oh, what is that? Productivity for uh, jackal kiln. Affects the gas mine, right? We do need some gas, steel and caoutchouc. And also those scraps. You can continue there again. So now I know what I need. And we might just... Um, Kautschuk we definitely need to get here. Um, steel, I'm not entirely sure. We do have a bit of steel still open. Um, I'm still getting a bit of steel over here, of course. And Kautschuk we do need to get. Kautschuk and steel are the main resources. And since we're always transporting the gas to um, Crown Falls, we should be having a bit of gas there. And I will just now fill one of my ships here. P 
PC Italian, you always do the most important missions for me. Um, oh, and look at that, Tailwind has arrived with my African animals. The elephant, the reno, the lion. Very good, so we got a few more um, items there, very important items in crown food, so we can use for the zoo now. And I just really want to get those items onto PC Italian, so we do need, as I said, oh, steel. Really bad at the moment, we have none. Caoutchouc we should have, yes, let's take 100 tons of caoutchouc there. Um, and let's also take a bit of gas, we still have some gas here. Let's take 100 tons of gas actually, because I would also like to build another um, airship, right? We can do this um, to boost this one here. Steel though, ooh, godness, goodness, goodness. We do need more of that. First of all, my trade routes, I might actually add another ship onto this trade route here, because what I can see is we are totally capped on iron and coal. So my trade routes that I have, the two of them, that's not enough, right? Or I might just let them transport more for each turn. And there it is. And 200 tons is not enough? You kidding me? Having this gate. Yeah, been. instead of taking that much steel with them, they don't need that, right? We can still take 100 more tons of iron ore and deliver that to Heavenly Gate. Let's just check real quick down here. Oh, there is the nice ship. Thing. As we can see, 140 steel is being transported then. Yeah, but there's no iron here. That can't be. They consumed all the iron that I just delivered? Not to ruffle your bow tie, but How many? Something is wrong here. All right, we got the two ships. They're transporting the steel and the iron, but it seems like they're not transporting the ore, or at least not enough ore. The two are working, crown falls, loaded and unloaded in Heavenly Gate. This should actually be all fine. Perhaps we don't have enough storage to supply. No, we have 500 tons of available storage in Heavenly Gate. All right, I will have to have a closer look of that. What we also have here is two iron deposits. I would like to use them right away. Very important to do that. This might ease it, ease the pressure. So let's just build the two of them. And this one, of course, does need a connection. Very good. So that we have two more iron mines working. And yes, let's boost it to 50% there as well. So that is bringing us some iron in again. Coal is also empty though. So I'm really not happy about how this looks. We need to wait there now for a couple of minutes until the ship arrives and then I can get the steel over there. Um, in the meantime, what I can do though is I can now put those items on display. So we do have the, um, I think that we already have the new world stuff, right? Oh, and here we have the African animals. And we do have some quite some nice ones here. So the lion is the big attraction. The reno, the elephant, and the galada, an ape creature. All of them are now in the zoo as well. And we've also reached a new prestige level thanks to that. Beautiful. Those animals are now in the in our store, more or less. And let's just have a look there. Um, I would like to get now, let's see, some sea creatures, right? So we can have a full block of sea creatures. Or what I could also do, I could move those African ones down here. Or we just have a huge sea creature. I think we have a lot of sea creatures available, actually. Not just right now. We have a few of them. But I guess also there are a lot of these items there in store. So why not just do this one, right? Oh, this is actually a building. Very good to know. Because the buildings I would like to have around the um, zoo there. So I think those birds there are... Nope, they're not. Right, so there are the sea creatures. And then we might make some birds here overall. What else do I have there? Yep, that's a bird as well. And pelican we can see too. Yep, let's actually make it like that. Right, so we have birds, sea creatures, Africa. Um, I think this is new world that we have then here. Yep, this is looking like new world. And then we might be having some puma up here. Interesting. All right, so the zoo is filling up there as well with more artifacts as we speak. The um, amusement park is looking fine. Let's just get to the scholars there real quick because they still also want something. I have finished another building permit. Let's collect this major discovery and let's have one more and then it's over. One more campus extension permit. It's the last one in the line that we need. And after that, we should be finished with the scholars there as well. 
Meanwhile, my steel has arrived. Let's just load this one right to PC Italian and let's get PC Italian to the Arctic to Skold for now. Off it goes. This should be good for us and it's a lot of steel that's coming in then and yeah, the gas as well. With the gas we can get another airship and I do need another airship plus I also want to boost my gas output. This is working now and hopefully this one down here is also working out. Ah, I'm lacking it again. We do have this trade rod up there as well with the wool. We can also say that you take some iron ore there. Right, and some coal with you as well in Crown Falls. You have the space for it. It's just amazing how much space this huge collier there has. Some eight slots available there for us. And it's now also transporting iron and coal uh, to and fro, right? So to make this whole thing more efficient. This is definitely not okay right now. And I'm pretty sure that we're also loosening a lot of our um, production for the steel that we have in Crown Falls. Plus we need the steel, by the way, for ship production also and for yeah, transportation to other areas. So very important to keep this one up. Stay tuned. 